Good morning, Cancers. How are you today? I hope you're doing okay. So I'm going to do your a reading for the month of October. So um, by the time I do this reading, it will Pluto will be uh, in retrograde. So it's a big shift. We already have Saturn direct. Uh, so now Pluto, uh, we have to take a deep breath because things are very gonna come to um, light. Like we say, when we come into the Scorpio season, the veil is getting thinner, okay? Like uh, that's what we like to say, uh, intuitive people. So the veil is getting thinner and we're going to start seeing uh, the truth and uh, have some clarity about stuff going on around you. Okay, so I'm going to pull some cards from the Enchanted Map. It's uh, it's not a new deck, but I never used it before because I was learning it a little bit. Um, some imagery in these cards are a little bit... Um, it has to pull your intuition a lot in order to read them. So I have to learn it too, because I'm a new, I'm a new tarot reader. So okay, well that was quick. Wow. So Cancer, what's coming towards you? Hmm. You see, moving to the unknown. So it's a little bit what I was saying that um, also in Scorpio readings. Um, um, you have to kind of like, I feel like taking a little leap of faith, you know, um, you don't know where you're going, but you have to trust, you have to trust where you're going, right? Yeah. Look at this lady. She has her, um, she's blindfolded in here and, uh, she, does she look scared? No, she looks like she's trusting, right? She looks like she's trusting whatever is coming. Wherever she's going, she's trusting it. Okay, and here you have balancing acts. Here we go. So um, again, it's it's a card of trusting here. You see, you like you see this this uh, boat. How it is like? It's like um, this boat is is on the thin rope and on a bubble. Okay, it's not very stable. They're asking you also to to be to stabilize yourself, to ground yourself and find the truth. Okay, and even though it's not it's not what you want to hear, they're asking you to um, to be grounded. Okay, asking to balance your energy because also uh, something might be draining you 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 don't um, how can I say that you have to be yeah you have to be grounded and uh, balanced you can't do everything here but also something very very uh, in a thin rope here there's something about a thin rope again and I had the same energy about um, for a Scorpio reading Yeah, you definitely have to trust the universe. And see, they're showing you two paths here. Here again. They're showing you two paths. So which one are you going to take? You're going to take the uh, positive or the, the darker? The lighter or the darker path? You know, but for that, you have to be grounded. Okay, you have to listen to your inner intuition. Yeah, and here you have the master number 11 here with the act, the balancing act. Okay, could have something to do with justice too, because the it is it represents the Dutch justice card here. Um, yeah, for me, it's like something about with justice, but here you have two doors in front of you. You know, you're here, so where are you gonna go? left or right okay because you're blunt blunt uh, you, you you don't see clearly but you trust at the same time which is good you know you don't see things clearly but you trust 
the way you're going. You trust that you will be guided to go the right the where you're supposed to be. Where you're supposed to go. Alright, I'm gonna I'm going to use now the law of attraction tarot, okay? It's a different kind of tarot. Um, um the meanings might be a little bit different, okay? But um in, in like yeah here we go but in, in general it's like pretty much close and it's the law of attraction material is pulling more positive energy okay i mean they're asking you to focus on the positive energy not the negative energy okay so here we with under the balancing act you have temperance yeah they're asking you like to be patient well, I know uh, we heard that a lot, okay? <laughs> yeah, and you see how you, you how this uh, waterfall is very thin. You can see through. Yeah, so I feel like something is getting uh, more and more clear to you. But they're asking you to be patient. Yeah, and also like this big person being naked here too. Uh, nothing on her skin uh, tells me that. Um, you have to be a little bit vulnerable too. You have to uh, show your true self uh, in order to um, to go uh, forward. Yeah. Okay, this one here, um, Scorpio had this card. So maybe for some of you, you 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 connecting with a Scorpio. So please go see Scorpio's reading when you're done. Uh, if you're interested, but uh, yeah, I was talking about the thin rope. Here it is. You see, you're finding your balance, your footage. You're not quite sure. Um, this guy is looking straight in front of him, where here she cannot see anything. You see, this guy here is looking straight. He's not looking at the rope because he's gonna fall. He's going to look straight in front of him and see. Uh, and uh, focus on what's coming, you know, not what's down or behind him. He's focusing on what's in front of him, okay? So that's what you have to do. That is what um, um, the guides and spirits are asking you to do. Don't look back, look forward, and um, trust the process. Under the making a choice, you have... <laughs> You have two of ones. Yeah. <clears throat> Again, look. Um, he has some ghost of the past and he's looking back. They're telling you, no, look forward, okay? And you have two of ones. Two of ones is again about decisions making, okay? Two of ones um, is like something is coming, but you have to make a decision. You have to know what, what, which one you want, you know? You have to to manifest it all right so what is it that you 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 manifesting what is it that you want to uh, oh, let me see. you have judgment at the bottom of the deck so you're guided and um, judgment I believe uh, is it is it robust is it Pluto or Jupiter Anyway, a big change is coming towards you. You have big decisions to, you know, to uh, to take. And that, I think I'm going to claim this, I mean, name this reading. You know, big decisions coming. Or big decision you have to, uh, yeah, decide. Okay. Yeah, look, again. Two of swords, two of swords, two of wands, and the two doors. Whew. Wow, that's weird. Well, I didn't. Okay, yeah, that will take you to a new, to new beginning. Okay, uh, they're turning also to take a leap of faith. Okay, look at that. Knight of swords and the 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 twelve here. And under the into the unknown so like you're rushing you know you're going you like uh, 
how can I say that you are on the go there we go you're on the go <laughs> you're going you're going somewhere and then which whatever I mean you're going you you can straight in front of you you see that whatever whatever what you're doing if you're on the string or what if you're on the horse but you're going straight okay and again I have a lot of these cards with the blindfold so you don't know where you're going but you're going straight and that's good that's what we want to do you have the Emperor here kept beginning with an Aries uh, it's telling me that um, you are sitting here on your power okay you have the Emperor is something very, someone very powerful um, he's leading uh, with knowledge okay look at the the cross that he has on on his hand okay he he's knowledgeable he he knows everything he knows what to do he knows the answer he he is powerful he rules all of the kings okay he's the emperor so there we go and uh, uh and they're ta they're saying that the the um, he's gonna see what where he needs to do what he needs to do and where he needs to go okay uh, so yeah, you. Um, it's definitely a new leap, a leap of faith, a new, a new beginning with the also the um, the full card that I saw at the bottom. Oh, sorry. Uh, the hermit. Yeah, the hermit is Virgo. We were just in Virgo season, but the hermit is telling me that you're seeing things clearly now. Uh, in the regular tarot, the hermit has is holding the star, um, so you you see where you you know you you know what you have to do. You know what, where you have to go. You you coming out of your cave or wherever you were, and you know what you have to do, right? After after taking this decision, uh, well. Even before you take this decision, you know where you're going, okay? You know what you have to do. You might be a little bit juggling here or scared or, I don't know, looking back. But, uh, yeah, you know where you're going. You know what you have to do. I don't, I just want one card. Sorry. Just one card. Cancer. Okay. Yeah, there we go. The Queen of Swords. So if you have to be the Queen of Swords and uh, clean everything that is not working, you know, not good for you, you will do so. Okay. If you pull in your Queen of Swords, um, you have to cut some people on the way in order to get there. But you will, because you you will see clearly. You will see something that that you will understand something okay see you might be cutting some people that were not worthy uh, lied they lied to you they played you okay yeah all right cancer it could apply to uh, love or um, reg uh, you know um, career Yep, jealousy. And here is jealousy too. It could be also jealousy for me. Watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans. Spend time outdoors with nature to reconnect and replenish. Yeah, exactly. One more. Thank you. <laughs> Future. That's what I said. Yes, you see? Look straightforward not backward okay don't look for the past the past is the past the past is done you cannot change the past look forward to the future you may travel or host an overseas traveler soon either way great social fun awaits okay there's some great things coming towards you but you got you gotta stop looking back okay and take that that leap of faith find um Take the right 
path for you, okay? The right road. Because you, you, you know. You know which road to take. All right, Cancer. That was your reading for the month of October. I hope that you enjoyed it and that it re resonated with you. And I see you next time. Bye-bye.